Hey guys, this is a video tutorial on how to fix error 28 on an iPhone 3GS or boot ROM. This is my iPhone right here. I installed Spirit 2 Pwn uh, for the new jailbreak um, for 4.1. After I installed Spirit 2 Pwn, I pressed the power button up here and I got stuck in a DFU loop and I could not restore through iTunes without error 28. This is a tutorial on how to fix this error. To prove to you that this is a jailbroken iPhone on 4.1 firmware. Um, let's see, so I've got uh, a video background which is not moving. Uh, I got Cydia right here. And uh, I highly doubt you'll be able to see this, but we can try general about version 1. 4.1 right there. Uh, yeah, it's too bright, eh? Okay. Uh, yeah, that's just too bright. Or, wait, maybe not. Version 4.1 right there. Um, hopefully you could see that. Um, so this is a tutorial on how to fix Air 28. There is no software trick. It is hardware. You're going to need to follow me exactly um, if you're not too confident about your skills um, with, in, with I guess, uh, opening your iPhone, um, you might want to get someone else to be there with you and follow along. You're, you're going to need to open it up. Um, obviously, you're going to have Air 28 and it's going to be stuck in DFU loop, so I'm going to just turn it off. You won't need to turn it off, though. You'll be stuck in the DFU loop. Um, so just follow me along and I'll explain to you how to open it up and how to fix the error. Um, so I'm just going to pause the video and be right back. Okay guys, so to start opening up the iPhone, you'll see that the iPhone really has no other screws except for at the bottom here. You're going to notice two screws. Um, so you're going to need a little screwdriver that fits to it. One there. To the, at the, you got to find two of them right beside the speaker and microphone. Um, so what the first thing you're going to want to do is unscrew those, make sure you don't lose them uh, because I mean obviously you'll be in trouble if you do so I'm going to just put mine right here in a little cup. So unscrew these and just put that aside. Once that's done there's basically two methods um, so now I just took mine out, uh, my screws out. Um, so basically those are the only two screws that hold the monitor to the case um, so or the screen to the case so um, there's two methods to pull the screen out um, you can either uh, grab a little kind of uh, sharp edge or sharp knife and put it between the screen and the case and pry it out or when I do my favorite thing to do is or I think the safest way is to actually put a suction cup on the actual screen and then just pop it off like that to me that's easier make sure no matter what technique you do you do it with the at the bottom of the phone so a suction cup at the bottom of the phone you won't have this uh, skin usually so you can just stick it right there uh, or if you put the knife in uh, you are going to want to put it at the very bottom not at the top because there's important wiring there um, so basically what you're going to want to do is put the sticker, or sorry the sticker, um, the suction cup or something at the bottom and lift it up very carefully to about a 45 degree angle. You'll notice there's about, there's three connectors holding the top of the, of the screen to the motherboard of the phone. You can't, you won't want to unplug those right now. So make sure it's at a 45 degree angle and that should not unplug it. Don't do it too fast. It might unplug it by accident. It's not that much of an issue, but you just want to be safe. What I'm going to do is actually try and find the suction cup I used to fix my error. Uh, if I can't, I'll just find some other way to open it up. Uh, I'll be back once, the, once my screen is off the case. You can do it your own way. Um, I would highly recommend the suction cup. Um, because it just less damage because you could possibly damage the metal rim um, using an, a blade. Um, so I'll be right back and you can pause the video for y while you guys do that. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, my screen is now off the case. I couldn't find my original suction cup so I found some of these little 
I guess, Nerf gun uh, bullets. Um, I guess be creative, right? Um, so I was able to stick that on. Yeah, my screen's a little dirty now, but whatever. Um, so what you want to do is I actually ripped it out a little hard, uh, fast by mistake, so I just ripped out the whole screen. That's actually fine because these connectors aren't, uh, don't have any problems. Um, so basically if you didn't, and then you actually followed my instructions, um, you should ha notice that the uh, that there's going to be three wires, number one, two, and three. Actually, three is going to be under everything else, so you won't be able to see it. But you're going to see one, two, at least, on the outside. And they're going to be plugged at the very top here of, of the phone. They're going to be labeled one, two, and three. Um, basically, what you're going to want to do is um, unplug them numerically. So. Uh, starting with one, you'll, uh, it's going to be pretty simple, just grab it with your nail, or what I usually do is uh, grab one of these um, um, sewing needles, and I just poke them off like that, or with a screwdriver, maybe even. So unplug one, and number two, and number three. Um, number three, you'll notice, is a little different. Um, number three doesn't just snap in, you'll notice on the very uh, motherboard on the very base of the motherboard there's a little white piece here where my finger is on top now right there and it slides under that piece um, so it's not just a snap in snap off you, if you yank the uh, screen off it's going to just have slid off um, but that's not that much of a problem if it's still plugged in what you're going to want to do is take one of these sewing needles or a screwdriver you're going to need to lift up the little piece, not the actual white piece. The white piece does not move. I did this error and almost broke it. The, num the actual white piece does not move, but you'll notice at the very bottom of the white piece, there's a little black piece. Maybe I'll be able to show you with this bad quality webcam. There's like a little black part. And you'll just want to flip that up. It's right under the white piece, and it's basically connected to the white piece. It just flips up. There, and then once you do that, you'll be able to lift it off, no problem. Um, you are gu uh, guarantee you, you're going to have to flip it up, and at least slide number three back into the white piece. Um, if you have uh, your SIM card in, uh, I would recommend taking it now. It would be the best time to do so. Um, let's see if I can find something to get mine out because you will be playing around with the motherboard so it is highly recommended to do so um, unless you want to break your uh, your sim card let's see if these little things can do it there you go and so here's my sim card it's now out make sure it's out and that you don't lose that as well so now basically you'll be able to see um, that my sim cards out so you'll notice there's a few more labeled numbers there's number six up here and number five up here you don't need to touch these okay well number five you can't really touch it just points to the sim card tray number six is a plug you don't need to touch number six um so keep that plugged in you'll notice number four and seven you're going to want to unplug these number four and seven you want to unplug so i'm just gonna grab a screwdriver here and basically just pry it off there you go so number four is unplugged right here then you want to do basically the same with number seven there you go number seven just unplugs like that so now I've got number seven unplugged uh, yeah my big fat fingers are in the way uh, number seven is unplugged here number four is unplugged here um, so now you've got number one two three four and seven unplugged now the next thing you're going to want to do is find um, there's five visible screws that are screwed into the side of the motherboard so there's one on this side in the center there's one right across in the center uh, right there I believe yeah right there uh, there's another one up here right beside where number one would be right under it uh, then there's one right, right beside number six up here, and then there's one beside number four. It would, might be covered by the sticker of number four, um, so you'll, but you'll be able to see it once you unplug number four. Now, if you've removed number seven, you'll notice there's two do not remove stickers. 
Um, I know they say don't do not remove, but you're going to need to remove them. There's five visible screws. There's two other screws under these two do not remove stickers. Um, they st if you don't remove that and you try and remove the motherboard, you're going to break the motherboard. So you do need to remove the stickers, and you'll notice there's a few screws under there. So I'm going to let you guys do that because I'm pretty sure you know how to handle a screwdriver and a few screws. So you see I just unscrewed that one. Uh, the first one beside number six. Make sure you don't use these as well. Um, there you go. And so I'm going to leave you guys to do this. Uh, I'll be right back once I unscrew all of mine. Goodbye. Okay, guys. So I have just uh, removed all the seven screws. Uh, the one in the center on the uh, on my right. The one uh, on the center on my left. Um, the one right beside number six, the one beside number one, where it, it would be. Uh, the two must under number, the do not remove stickers from number seven. And the one right above number four. So now basically your motherboard is totally loose. Um, it can't come out. So what I, rec what I would do is, don't, is, is do not yank, please, and I, please. Uh, do not yank, just don't yank the motherboard out. There is still wiring under the motherboard that connects the camera and so forth. So, what you're going to want to do is just grab the back and the bottom here where the home button would be. So, this is the top, this is where the camera is, right up here. So, so that's the top here, where the SIM card would be at the bottom here. Uh, just gently lift the bottom up. Do not lift the top. Lift kind of like it at a 45 degree angle like you did with the screen if you did. Um, so basically what you're going to want to do is lift up n the both plugs number 4 and number 7. And so now you basically got the motherboard at a 45, well not 45 degree angle or else that break it. Um, you got at an angle here. Now basically this just disconnected the motherboard from the battery. That's all you need to do. Now what I would recommend is grabbing a pencil, not a pen because it has metal and that would kind of defeat the purpose. Um, is just put a pen, pencil, between the motherboard and the battery like so for about an hour, an hour and 30 minutes. And once that's done, you can take that out and put it back together. So uh, you can pause the video or play the video back within an hour or so and uh, follow me now. Um, what you're going to want to do is put the motherboard, so get all these plugs, number 7 and number 4, out of the way. And then just drop the motherboard back into place. Next, what you're going to want to do is screw everything back in. All the screws that you had recently, hopefully, have not lost. Uh, by the way, I'm not responsible if you do lose the screws. Um, so, you, you're just going to want to screw everything back in. So now I just screwed num the one beside number 6 back in. What I'm going to do is stop the video and come back when they are all screwed in. Uh, once again, hopefully you know how to use a screwdriver by now. So, be right back. 